Hi, my name's Janelle, and in this series, I'm going to be showing you how to go from knowing absolutely zero about sewing to being able to make your own wardrobe. I don't use big words or overcomplicate things. I just plan on showing you what I've learned over a decade of making my own clothes and share all the tips and tricks I've learned along the way to make sewing a whole lot easier. Sometimes your sewing machine doesn't stitch as it should and in this video I'm going to be covering some of the most common issues you may come across and how to troubleshoot them. I used to work at a fabric and sewing machine store and so many times customers would bring in their sewing machines thinking they were broken when in actual fact there was just an easy fix or the whole issue could have been prevented with the correct knowledge and I'm going to be sharing everything I learned while working there in this video. While working that job, I actually got to talk directly with the sewing machine mechanics and repairers of brands such as Singer and Brother multiple times a week. And I'll also be sharing the knowledge that I learned from them over the years I worked there. Issue number one, the threading is knotting up under the stitching. Sometimes when starting a new row of stitches, the bobbin thread can knot up really badly like this. This can happen due to a few reasons, the first being that your machine is not threaded correctly. Unthread both the top thread and the bobbin and start again, making sure to follow the threading steps correctly. Another reason this might be happening is because you're not holding onto the loose threads when you start stitching. When you don't hold onto the threads, they can be kind of pulled forward by the machine, which can cause them to become tangled and knotted underneath the fabric. By simply holding onto them as you start stitching, your machine is able to sew smoothly and won't knot up creating a huge mess of threads. Issue two, skipping stitches. You may sometimes notice that your machine seems to be skipping stitches, particularly when using some thinner lightweight fabric. And this is usually a result of using the incorrect needle or a blunt needle in your sewing machine. Sewing machine needles are super confusing at first, I personally prefer to use Schmetz machine needles and with the Schmetz needles, 70 over 10 needles are good for lightweight fabric, 80 over 12 is good for midweight fabric and 90 over 14 is good for heavyweight fabric. If you're using a heavyweight needle for lightweight fabric, your machine will skip stitches as you're using the incorrect needle for the fabric type. Similarly, if your needle is blunt, your stitching will start to skip and be inconsistent. I normally only have to change my needle because it's blunt a few times a year. I think technically you're meant to change it every eight hours of sewing or something, but I don't change it all that often. If you use a range of different fabrics regularly, I recommend getting a universal pack of Schmetz needles as this will give you a range of needles for light to heavy fabrics. You can also pick up specialty sewing machine needles such as leather needles, stretch needles, and upholstery needles. Issue number three, tension problems. If your tension is too high, your stitches will look loose and messy like this. If your tension is too low or tight, your stitches will be tiny and may even start to bunch up your fabric. Instead, when your tension is correct, your stitching should look nice and neat and smooth like this, and there should be approximately eight to 10 stitches per inch. Issue number four, your sewing machine is locking up and won't sew. If your sewing machine is locking up to the point where the hand wheel isn't even able to be turned, it may be due to a buildup of lint and dust inside the sewing machine that is causing blockages to the mechanics. The best way to prevent this is to clean your machine regularly as per the machine instructions and to get it serviced at least once a year as well. Issue five, the thread constantly breaks or just looks messy. While working at the fabric shop, I got to learn a lot about the world of thread types. I thought all thread was cotton, whereas the most common thread used in a sewing machine is actually 100% polyester. You can use 100% cotton thread in a sewing machine as well, however it is a bit more brittle compared to polyester and the tension of the sewing machine can cause it to break quite easily. So if your thread is breaking constantly while using your sewing machine, it might be because you're using cotton thread. Another reason why your thread might be constantly breaking is that it might just be old. Using secondhand threads is an affordable and sustainable way to source threads, but it may break a little easier than brand new polyester thread. Also, if you find your stitching is looking a little bit messy, this could be due to the quality of the thread. Cheaper threads are made with cheaper methods, and to quote the singer sewing machine mechanic I used to speak with on the phone all the time, these cheaper methods make the thread less pure. 
and the less pure the thread, the less smoothly it will feed through your sewing machine and ultimately the less neat the final stitching will be. I was also told that black thread will stitch slightly messier than natural coloured thread due to the dye, making the thread a little less pure as well. I've personally found that the cheaper brands sometimes work well in some machines and then terribly in others, so you might not have any issues with them. However, I personally love the brand Gudeman and I definitely can notice a difference when using Gudeman thread compared to the cheaper threads you can buy. Issue six, the machine is running, but the needle isn't moving. This issue is a funny one because it's such an easy fix and I felt like such an idiot the first time it ever happened to me. When the sewing machine is running but the needle isn't moving, it's because your machine is set to bobbin winding mode. Simply slide the bobbin winder back to the machine mode and your sewing machine should start working again normally. If your machine isn't set to bobbin winding mode and the issue is still happening, then definitely go and get it looked at by a professional because there's something seriously wrong with the mechanics. So these are some of my best troubleshooting tips and tricks that I think every sewing machine user should know about. I hope you found this video helpful and that you learned something new. And in the next video of this series, I'll be showing you how to use an overlocker and sharing my thoughts on whether or not they are worth the investment. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.